we are finally free from the Fallow Grind over on Te Aoroa, and we're spending this newfound freedom on a map with Fallow Deer. <laughs> Go figure, but we are here for Eurobison. If we even look at a Fallow Deer today, I'll be surprised. I could go quite a while without seeing another one of those, but this particular multiplayer server is just about the beginning of Euro Bison drink time, so we're gonna kinda hunt around, maybe see if we can get anything before they start to drink, and then we'll go to some of the better hotspots. Or apparently, they're just gonna come trotting out into the field. That's a pretty solid one to start with, too. Level 4 up to 120. And I think he's the only male in the group, so let's take that. I'm guessing they must be on their way to a zone that may be a male back there. Maybe we kind of jumped the gun there. That one there is a male. Just a level 3, so I think we probably still got the best one. But maybe they're heading to a drink zone up in that area. We can still check it, but I would imagine that's where they were going, and there's probably now going to be nothing there. But either way, definitely not a bad way to start. A 117.7, double long shot from the 338. And I guess we'll go ahead and do that. We'll head up to the zone they were kind of moving towards. There could be multiple herds that use zones around that lake. And then I want to go over to this spot, which is, I think, a better kind of hot spot than where we're headed. But every map's different. This could be the best spot. So maybe it wasn't that that last herd was actually headed to a drink zone. They may have just been going to a different feed zone. Either way, that one's got the best estimate. I just noticed as well. There's a whole bunch of geese just sitting right out here. As long as there's no fives, I think we'll go ahead and take the bison still. They are the kind of target species of the hunt anyway. But just like that, a couple of bonus bison kills in, and it's nearly 10.30, so most bison should be in their zones or on their way to them. That even still was a silver, 106. Gold was 110, so basically all those were guaranteed silvers. But let's go ahead and jump down to this outpost. By the time we get up to this lake, it should be past 10.30, and hopefully everything around is going to be into their drink zones. And again, a pretty good-sized Eurobison here, up to 125. So, hey, we're kind of in a weird spot. I think if we shoot into the air with the 22, it should just alert him. All the way to alarm, so maybe not the best move. And I think he even went to fleeing, but... Got a shot off, I'm not so sure. Frontal shots on bison can be awkward, especially the Euro bison. I find with the Plains bison, it's okay. But Euro bison, there's so much neck flesh to go through to get to the vitals. Sometimes those frontal shots just end up kind of falling short of the lungs. They can be on target, but don't get the penetration to get there. So they run pretty slow. That second shot was safe, and we needed it. I'm going to guess that's going to be exactly what I described. We'll see. But I bet that shot would have hit lungs with more penetration and just didn't get there. And just so you can kind of see what I mean based on the models, there's just a lot to kind of go through. First shot was flesh. Maybe a touch low, but I think it would have clipped the heart. But just because we're up high, we're shooting like almost just under the chin. All that neck flesh, it just stops the bullet. Still got the right lung and a 116 gold for him. I think that's like one less than the max estimate. Mean, he is pretty high. For the, like, non-max estimate uh, weight, 750 kilo, but pretty solid. So we're going to jump down to the southwest and check out some of the lakes in Tishanau. Not the most impressive bison of this lake, but we do have another level 4. So I think we'll go ahead and try to get that with the 338 as well. Always in multiplayer, we try not to cause too much hunting pressure, so we'll let the other ones go. But we are pretty quickly moving through at least my favorite hotspots. These two spots down here in Tishanel, this lake here, and I like to check out some of the spots around here in Schoenfeld, but I never have as much luck in that area of the map. But the reason that we are kind of moving through these spots so quickly as we do have another gold here at 115 is because I do want to go to Silver Ridge Peaks and look for the Plains Bison as well. And the reason we have the luxury of doing that already is I spent a little time here on Hirschfeld Multiplayer earlier, actually around four hours total, and we ended up getting something pretty good. That looks like a monster. 125 to 136. Diamond is, I think, 127 and change? 125 minimum gives him a pretty good chance at being our first Diamond Truex Eurobison. So, gonna try to drop this in there with the 338. 
definitely did not punch through the heart, but should be along at that angle and he is starting to go down. That could be pretty cool. I really, between the two bison that got the true racks, obviously Plains Bison and Euro Bison, I really think the true racks, Euro Bison, are the biggest improvement over the Legacy racks. So, assuming that guy makes it, I can't wait to put that in the lodge and what we'll be able to do is put it right next to a Legacy Diamond and just compare because the mass on the fives that I've seen posted around the community, they look fantastic. And of course, Bison being as slow as they are, he really didn't go anywhere. The hit location is right there. We can actually see the blood still. So he maybe ran like 40 meters. Can't really see much here in the brush, but let's see. Someone just, hold on. Let's claim this. That's a 129 diamond. I heard a wild boar caller. So someone must be down here, but 129.37. Diamond is 127.62. He's 50 kilo below the max weight, so I'm guessing they could get a good bit bigger than this yet. There's a little bit of, like, chipping involved there. Let's actually tax this real quick, because I don't know what's going on here. But you can actually see, at the tips of those horns, a little bit more wear and tear than we've ever seen on the goals that we've shot. That is pretty cool. We probably were not too far away from some sort of disaster striking here in multiplayer, but our first time at Eurobison, and I think he's a pretty decent one. They can probably get a good bit bigger, but just compared to the old Legacy Diamonds, they look a hundred times better. By the way, there's no one here. But like, there was a Red Deer warning call. I guess that could have been from us. I don't know if that was a bug or what. That was weird. So I wouldn't have guessed it. But we actually have a Diamond Turax Euro Bison before a Diamond Turax Plains Bison. And I don't know what it was. I just felt like if I was going to spend time on one of the two maps today in multiplayer just hunting for the new Turax, I thought Hirschfelden and going for the Euro Bison made more sense. Because Plains Bison, in my perception, are just a little bit easier to hunt. That said, we are now going to start looking for them, not on Silver Ridge Peaks, but here on Yukon Valley. I don't know why, maybe it's because we just shot a Fallow Deer Great One, but I just had it in my head that we're going to be sort of in Moose territory when we're hunting for bison, and there's an extremely outside chance that somehow we could find a Great One Moose, and that was the only, only reason that influenced my decision to choose Yukon over SRP. And I guess over on Silver Ridge Peaks, the odds of randomly stumbling into a Great One Black Bear would be just as good as stumbling into a Great One Moose here, and by just as good I mean extremely unlikely either way, but we're more so in Moose territory here than we would be in Black Bear territory hunting for Bison there. So a 169 score here, I do find like a lot of these smaller level fours are right in this area, 168 to 170, it's a really common score, but at least we see the kind of worn away layers of the horns at the tops there. Not too bad, and as far as the amounts of bison we can find between both maps, I think it's pretty similar, so we should get to see a lot. While the numbers might be the same, the quality has just not been there. I cannot tell you how many bison we've seen without a max estimate for it. I just saw that moose in the background take off. There are wolves passing through. So let's hit that guy. He just turned into that shot too. I don't know if that's going to mess with it. It probably will bring him down, but it's going to end up not being a long shot. I think we hit the skull. That'll be kind of interesting to see what happens. It's likely a long track, but I want to say two 300 rounds, or 338 rounds rather, would bring one down. Just while we're at it, since there's another max estimate for it. Good luck getting the skull in front of that, so we should get one vital hit and gold out of this, but the other one, not so much. And it still has not gone down, but because they move so slow, We'll be able to find it and get a follow-up shot if we need. This guy was a 168. Again, I mentioned that kind of score range for Bison in this general size area. That shot was just fine. 319 meters. And I'm gonna... I still think that other one's gonna go down. But like I said, either way, if we gotta run it down, we'll be able to. Well, very clearly, it did not take him down, but we haven't had to run him down. Because he's stopped up there on the hill, so... Once again, not going to be able to end up blocking our shot with the skull, so that'll get him. And I'm going to be really intrigued to see if that's actually what happened. And then, also, if that follow-up shot landed, I thought it did, 
but that might be why it was only 25 to 50. I can't imagine two flesh hits from the 338 not even dropping him to 0 to 25. But that is exactly the case all the first time. So we were trying to land that like right into the lung, and he was looking a little bit further left. Interestingly enough, he's the heaviest one we've shot and the lowest scoring, but then flesh the second time way far back, barely even hit him. And that was actually even just stomach liver the third time. None of those shots were ideal, but at least we got him. And the only negative is that pretty well used up most of what was remaining of bison drink time. We'll maybe try to get to one or two more spots, but there's not a lot of time left. I think they drink down here now. And clearly, they do. Now, none of these look to be all that special. I think level three is as good as we're going to get, so we'll try to line up a shot on one of these. There's almost a chance at a heart shot there. They kind of almost need to be alert. That's what we wanted. And like I said earlier, I just, I have a better time doing that with the plane spicing than the euros. I think it's just the little kind of slight differences in the models. You know, it really didn't seem to bother this guy. <laughs> He's just going to stay there. But this one was a 149 silver, heart, liver, and stomach. I mean, the difference. And again, the angle really matters. But it's not even close to, you know, barely reaching the vitals or anything. We're through the heart to the back of the lungs, hitting liver and stomach. Just want to see, we're not going to shoot this one, but he's definitely bigger than the one that we got. So, unfortunately, it doesn't look like our Plains Bison luck is quite going to stack up to our Euro Bison luck. No fives here on Yukon Valley, but quite a few decent fours. It may have taken a while. We had a lot of twos and threes there at the first, like, five or six legs we checked. And actually, this is another server. We ended up, I think, failing to synchronize or something like that in the last one and came to another server where the story was pretty much the same. But honestly, I am very much looking forward to going back and placing our Diamond Hero Bison. I think I shot that probably, I don't know, five hours ago by now, and I've not placed it in the lodge, so gonna be really cool to finally get to see what it looks like next to the old Legacy Diamonds. And we're just gonna take our time going through this part of the lodge. I finally found a pose I liked for the Great One, by the way. It ends up being different than the Whitetail Mount, which I like that they could mirror each other, but I think this works. We have the Great One kind of in the back for the Whitetail, in the front for the Fallow. And every time we walk in here for a very long time, we'll be taking it good and slow. But I think one of these walls we have all bow kills, that's going to be the hallway on the left. So this hallway has two Diamond Euros, obviously both with the Legacy Horns. And what I want to see is which fur type did we actually get today? We have the Dark Brown. So... Actually, neither of these was that. 287 for that, and 280, so let's take down the light brown. We'll replace with the new dark brown, and I mean, the horn size difference is, I mean, quite literally massive. Look at how skinny the old legacy horns are in comparison, and I never thought they looked that bad. I love how much more mass there is to these horns, and I talked about it earlier. Like, you really see the wear and tear on these, more so than we saw in any of the big fours, and we've killed fours that are close to diamond. That really shows it better than any of the others, but it's just, it's so nice to have the time to do a little bit of stuff like this, and eventually, of course, we're gonna get back to grinding for the moose and black bear great ones we don't have, but for the moment, I'm really looking forward to more of that, going after some of those missing trophies that we don't have here in our trophy lodge. And on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.